Hello everyone, welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today is a video that I have been promising for all summer, but it is just now happening. I'm doing my annual summer outfits video. I do this for every season, and I just think it's so much fun to just design some outfits for the season. And I've already went ahead and drawn these out because I actually was fairly ill yesterday. Um, and I was on the couch all day and I just really didn't feel like getting up to sit at my desk. So I drew these on the couch and I decided that we would just color them today. Um, so hopefully you're not too disappointed that I already drew them out, but I think we'll still have a lot of fun today. So I decided to do some different types of outfits. So this one's more of an athletic outfit. This one's a little bit more, not fancy, but a nicer looking outfit. This one is just kind of like a casual coffee outfit. And then I did a swimsuit over here. So let's get into it. I'm super excited. Today we're gonna to be using Ohuhu markers and I'm gonna be using um, a few different sets. So let's just talk about what we're using. We're gonna use the Ohuhu skin tone set. This just gives me a wide variety of skin tones so I can do different tones for each of our characters. Here we have the big set. I'm not sure how many this has in it. It may be the, I don't think it's the 300 set. It's like the 100 and something set. And then we have our pastel set, which I thought would be really nice for the summer. All right, so let's just get into it and start over here. I have some ideas for colors already, so I'm gonna go ahead and start picking some green colors because I saw this activewear set on Hollister's website and I just thought it was so adorable. I wanted to pick it up for myself, but it was sold out. So bad luck, I guess. This is kind of like a bright green, so I'm trying to find the right color because I definitely have like a vision, I guess, for what I want this to look like. Almost a blue-green, so I think I'm going to go with this one and then just start adding different colors. So I am going to start with her outfit and the scrunchie in her hair and the headband, so it's all coordinating a skinny headband because we don't want it to run into the scrunchie and what's so cute about this set or this tank top is it has like a little line of white trim around the edge so that's just so adorable that's really trendy this year so I wanted to add that in and a lot of times I do these videos with pieces from my own closet and then sometimes I do just pick some outfits and design them. So this year we're just picking some random trends and drawing them out. I just didn't really find anything in my closet that was super interesting. Um, so I just went ahead and decided to just design the outfits and not show you real life clothing pieces. So sorry if this isn't set up exactly how I usually do these. Um, I don't really have any references or anything. I just drew these from ideas that I had or outfits that I would like to wear. I'm just drawing a little line to represent that trim. And I don't think actually there will be any on this side here. So fill that in. I really enjoyed the last video that I filmed. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It is a bit of a longer video, but I had a lot of fun with that one. All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit more of a green color to shade everything, just to kind of bring in a little bit more of that green tone. And the actual characters themselves that I'm drawing are no, people in particular, or I didn't get any references, I'll just say that. I just kind of drew some characters, didn't really put a lot of thought into that, so just letting you know there. And I already forgot that uh, these shorts go with the top, so I'm going to have to go ahead and color them in as well, I forgot to color them. And they have the white trim on the bottom. Super cute. Being 
careful not to color in that white space. I am curious if you guys would let me know in the comments. Um, I've done some videos recently where I've just put music in the background and I've not talked and then I've done probably more where I do do a voiceover or just talk while I'm drawing. So let me know what you guys prefer. If you guys prefer for me to just not have any voiceover and you guys just watch the video, then that's fine. Just let me know. Um, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. It actually makes it a little bit easier on me. But I do love doing the voiceovers if you guys like them. Okay, now I'm just going to use this little bit of a darker green just to kind of add a little extra shadow. That set is really cute. All right. So I think I actually might go ahead and just color all these outfits and then we'll go in and do the hair and skin just because this video is mainly focusing on the outfits. All right, now this one I just have purple in my mind. I don't know why, love a good purple. So I don't remember exactly where I saw this outfit. I know I did see it somewhere. I shop a lot, um, all of my friends and family could tell you that. I don't really buy a lot of things, um, just because I kind of don't like, I like saving money, I don't really like spending it a lot, but I'm a big shopper, especially online. So I probably saw this outfit somewhere and just can't remember where I saw it, but it is really cute. These skinny scarves with matching tops have become kind of popular this year. This is more of a 90s, 2000s look, but I think it's really cute with the modern touch. I don't have anything like this. Um, honestly, I don't really own any tank tops, but I think this is a cute outfit. And I just, again, love the colors. And monochrome outfits are super in this summer. So definitely good to add that into our collection of drawings here. So the scarf is going to be a darker purple. And I was deciding whether to draw shorts or jeans with this look because it is summer. I went with the jeans just because I thought it kind of went with the outfit a little bit better. Um, I didn't think shorts would look very good with it, but probably more practically would be shorts. And I'm gonna look over to my pastels and see if there are any purples in here that I could use for shadowing. A lot of these are really similar in tone, so they're not really gonna add much differentiation in the color. Has a little bit of a pink color to it, so I like that. All these colors are so similar, it's a little bit hard to find one to shade with. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of outlining with this darker one just because it, it really needs something to break it up. So I'm almost doing like a liner with the marker. And I am adding some to the scarf as well. I'm trying to add in some of the details because this is one of those kind of just flowy tops, so trying to add that in. Oh, 
All right, I think that looks really good for the purple color. And now for the jeans. Um, I probably should do light wash because it is summer, but I really feel like a dark wash would look so much better. So I'm just gonna go with that. All summer outfits, I guess, don't have to be super bright and light and colorful. It's more about just the summer vibes and this one is a tank top so it fits the bill. And when I draw fabric with markers or I mean color, I do try to kind of move the ink in the direction that the fabric goes just because sometimes the way alcohol markers lay on top of each other it's really easy to get some fabric texture without really blending or doing any work, so that's really helpful. Just adding some shading there. Okay, I think that outfit is adorable. Loving that. Now this over here is actually an outfit that I have, so I'm kind of excited to color this one. I've not worn this outfit this summer. I've just planned on doing it, so I guess I need to do that soon because summer is a little bit winding down. We're not at the end yet, but it's definitely coming fast. So um, I'm gonna use that color, I think, but I need something just a little bit lighter because this is kind of like a cream colored vest. And I'm trying to find the right color. I feel like a cream color is very hard to find because it's very easy for it to look like a skin tone. And I want it to look just white, but not like a skin tone, if that makes any sense. So I might have better luck with a gray. This gray looks good, and then we'll just add a little bit of more yellowy colors over top, I think. So we've got our vest. This is kind of like a waistcoat vest, so really cute. One thing when you have all these sets of markers out, I was trying to remember where the markers came from so you put them back in the right sets leave a comment if you can relate because always when i'm filming with all these sets of markers out i always end up putting some of them in the wrong one and then i've got a mess this vest is pretty light colored so i'm probably not going to be adding too much shading to it I did add the buttons there. Okay, and then I kind of am just envisioning a black tank top underneath. So that's easy enough to just add in. there not sure but looks good oh and the hair clip I will do black as well just to tie in the theme I am a big fan of the hair clips those are so fun and easy to just throw on and they're so fun to draw okay now let's do the coffee cup because coffee can be part of an outfit I guess all right so I just do the cup in gray I draw a lot of coffee because I love it. All right, the coffee is all there. Let's do the shorts. I imagine just kind of some light wash blue shorts. Something summery. Nothing more summer than some denim shorts. Just love them. I'm 
and I like these baggier style of shorts, so that's what I'm drawing in here. And if you've noticed, I do kind of add some lines um, before I just do a full color because when you layer alcohol markers, they do um, kind of get darker. So if I add in some of those lines or fabric folds before I even start doing the full color, a little bit of that shows through. I still have to add a little bit of shading and shadows, but at least it helps. All right, I want to keep these really light, so I'm not adding a lot of shading, but they obviously need some. We don't just want plain color. Okay, I think that looks nice. Okay, now let's do the swimsuit. Super fun. I'm definitely going to be using my pastels for this one because I already know that I want to do some horizontal stripes. I've seen this bathing suit multiple places. It just seems like it's a popular one this year, these stripes, and I love it. So that is the one we're gonna draw today. I did choose a one-piece bathing suit. Um, I personally like those better, so I didn't really wanna draw a bikini today. So we're just going with a one-piece. And these cotton candy colors, oh my goodness, love it. But we are going to add a few others. Yes. Just had an idea to do like a monochromatic um, pink drawing. That would be so much fun. All right, now I'm trying to decide if I want green or yellow. And I think yellow might kind of fit the vibe a little bit better. Yes, it's almost like a beach ball. Love it. And I'm not really going to add any shading because we don't really want to mess up the colors too much. So I just add a little bit there. And let's make the sunglasses pink because I am obsessed with pink. Nails are pink. Everything pink. Just love it. And why not a pink necklace just for fun? I love beach jewelry. So cute. That one might be my favorite and we literally drew that in like five seconds. That's so simple. So that's definitely something that anyone can draw, but so cute. All right, now we're going to go in and color the rest of this piece, but I did just realize I had a sun over here. I just thought that would be kind of a fun little backdrop. So go ahead and color that in. I like to add just a little bit of that sunshine coming through. That one is turning out adorable. So now that we have our outfits all done and everything's looking so cute, let's do the hair. I don't know why I'm doing everything in such an oddball kind of way today, but we're rolling with it. Okay, I'm envisioning some red hair with this, just kind of like a nice strawberry kind of reddish color. I love red hair with green. I think it's such a pretty combo. If I didn't have brown hair, I think that I would like to have red hair because I just think this color of red hair is just so pretty. Just love it. And it's really fun to draw. I got the hair finished on that one. 
So let's move on to this one. I'm trying to decide what color for this hair. I'm thinking kind of an ashy brown. Not sure. This one is giving me a bit of trouble trying to decide what color to do. I don't know why. I didn't really want to go blonde, but but this this is looking like this is what I was thinking, so. I really want to follow the shape of the sketch on this hair because I really liked the way that it turned out. really like this sketch in general. I just thought it was really cute. This one is kind of more of an, a blowout style hairdo, kind of 90s-esque. Okay, now I'm going to find a color to kind of lighten up. This one's kind of a honey brown. I like this. And I'm keeping these drawings fairly simple today, but I think that that's just kind of my sketchbook style I've been doing lately, and I just like the more simple look, so I'm not doing anything too detailed. Alright, I'm liking that. Let's move over here to this one. Let's see, I'm trying to decide what hair color to do over here. Maybe a blonde hairstyle would look good on this one. Let's go yellow blonde. Why not? And I'm doing lots of little pieces of hair coming down, just very natural, summery. And this hairstyle is a little more messy, so I'm just kind of throwing the hair all over. Coloring in circular patterns, leaving white space just to make it look a little more undone. And then we can go in with a little bit of a darker shade. That shade really isn't that much different, so I'm going to choose another one. one looks good. Okay, and I think that that looks cute. And then over here, maybe let's go a little bit darker because all the other ones are a bit lighter. So let's see this one pretty dark. And I just had some hair kind of falling around her face. And I've kind of got it up in a bun. Just kind of trying to add a little texture. And there's really not much else we can do with that because it is so dark. I am going to go ahead and do the eyebrow. That's really cute. All right, now let's do the skin on all these. I know I did this in such a weird order. Sorry about that if it's bothering anyone. Just kind of felt like doing it like this today. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add the eyebrows because it just 
Okay, that's it. And this one, you can't really see the eyebrows because of the bangs, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. All right, I do wanna kind of experiment with a few different skin tones just for fun today. So let's, the red hair is probably gonna be more fair skinned. So I'm gonna add a lot of blush and more use blush for the shadows instead of like darker skin color, I'm gonna use the blush, if that makes sense. So when you're drawing someone with very fair skin, that's kind of my tip. So anywhere where there's gonna be shading or where I would want to put actual blush, I'm gonna just use this color. And then if you're using a Hoo Hoo Markers, R18 is a really great fair skin tone. It's super light. And I even left a little bit white still, just to keep it very, very light. I'm using this blushy shade to do a little bit of shading. And I need to outline the eyes. I don't want to go too dark with outlining the eyes, so I'm going to find a brown color that isn't going to be too dark. Okay, I think that one is really adorable. I love that. All right, this one is my favorite for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush. But this blush, I want to look a little bit more like makeup. As well as the eyes, I want the eyes to be a little more defined than this one. shade darker than what we used for the skin tone on the last one and just start applying a color base color I'm trying to not draw over the sketch too much because I want to preserve it as much as I can just because I really liked the sketch I'm gonna go in with a more tan color. This one is more of a tan skin tone.
Okay, and I am going to do the eyes in black on this one. I'm going to use a dark brown to kind of create an eyeshadow. And then the lips. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a darker color just to kind of go over the skin tone, make it a little bit darker in general. Did kind of color over the lips. Just kind of add that back in. Okay. Now for this one, I'm trying to decide what exactly I want to do here. Let's use this color. Like I said, I'm kind of just doing this sketchy, nothing, nothing too detailed or, I guess, precise. Just kind of doing what feels right. And now that's very similar to the color of the vest, so we definitely want to add in some other colors. Alright, and now of course we need blush and a lip color and an eye color. And then I do like to Okay, and this one I wanted to do a little bit more of a tan color. It might be a little bit dark to start out with, so I'll just use it for a shading color. If you'd like to, you can start out with the shading. I typically like to do it last, but in this case, I just kind of grabbed the wrong marker, so 
I'm going to start with the shading. And I'm just blending in this color. lighter color just to blend all that together. And I need blush for sure. All the characters have to have blush because it's summer. And then the eyes. All right, I think that is so adorable. I am gonna just snag a Tosca pen. Add just a little bit of highlights. And for fun, I think we should add a little bit of color for a background. So I think pink would be a great tie-in for all of these. So I'm just going to do some pink swirls in the background. And then I think I'm also going to do a little yellow. All 
Alright guys, I think this turned out really cute. Again, just very sketchy, fun sketch with me, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think of the drawings and what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!